Hello friends. You are welcome to this session on constructions. In the previous video, we learned basic construction of perpendicular bisector of line segment and angle bisector and we also proved the constructions to be geometrically correct. In this video, we are going to learn about how one can draw an angle of a given measurement. So let us begin. The question is that, from the initial point of the ray AB, construct an angle of 30 degree. Friends, we only have been given a ray AB. Now let's draw ray AB. Now, using a compass, draw a mark of any length like this and name the intersection point as C. Now, Without changing the measurement, we will draw one more arc from point C, which will intersect the first arc at point D. Now, on angle A, by constructing angle bisector, we can form an angle of 30 degrees on ray AB. Now, from the intersection points of arcs drawn on both the arms, point C and point D, taking more than half the length of CD inside the angle, we will draw one arc from each point that will intersect at point E. Now vertex A and point E will be joined. This ray AE is angle bisector of angle DAC and angle EAC is 30 degrees. Before moving on to the next question, find out if we have to construct an angle of 15 degrees, what will we do? You may pause the video and think of an answer. After completing the last process, the 30 degree angle at point A can be bisected again to arrive at an angle of 15 degrees. So now, if we have to construct an angle of 120 degrees, what will we do? Here first an angle of 60 degrees will be constructed like we did in the previous question. And then from point D, without changing the measure of the radius, we will draw one more arc which will intersect arc drawn from point A. And from point A to this intersecting point, we can draw a line to form an angle of 120 degrees. Now we will see these steps in brief. Draw ray AB. With the help of a compass taking a radius, draw a large arc from the vertex A in such a way that it intersects the ray AB. Now without changing the radius, from this point of intersection, draw an arc in such a way that it intersects the arc drawn from point A at D. Once again, with the same radius and intersecting the larger arc from point D at point C, will another arc be drawn. Finally, drawing a ray joining vertex A to point C, an angle of 120 degrees can be obtained. Friends, that's it for today's session. See you in the next session with some more constructions of angles. Thank you.